University Medical Center Brackenridge provides broad range care for the most complex medical cases and is the only level one trauma center in Central Texas, also works with families in extreme situations. To assist their healing mission, in 2012, they dedicated their Tranquility Garden, an 8,400 square foot oasis between the hospital and a state-of-the-art clinical education center. The Tranquility Garden is part of providing a healing environment to everyone we serve. In addition to patients enjoying this space, it's also a place that our associates in the middle of a busy, hectic workday can step outside, breathe fresh air, connect with Mother Nature, even for one or two minutes, and then return to the hospital environment and continue on with their work in a more focused, relaxed, tranquil way. There's a wonderful bit of research done on what's called attention restoration therapy. And it basically says that uh, views to nature really help kind of restore our ability to concentrate and to think. I've seen a brain surgeon sitting out here having his lunch. And I've seen a two-year-old child running around here just delighting and, and being out in the open spaces. And I've seen our nurses out here having a quiet time. So it's really being used by everyone and it's very quickly become a vital part of this institution. The power of gardens to lower stress levels has changed hospital design. We know in healthcare today that in addition to the medicines and treatments that we can deliver, your environment is very important and how your environment makes you feel. How, whether it's noisy versus quiet, whether it smells pleasant versus foreign, um, whether or not it signals life like a garden versus a sterile environment. And so this is a perfect fit for the continuation of a, of a healing environment. A lot of research has been done through the years to show that when people have uh, visual access to nature, that you know stress level comes down. For a worried caregiver, family member, or loved one, um, this space really allows them to step out of what feels like the rhythm of the trauma center and to come to the garden. People heal faster, they need less pain medication, if they even have views of nature. So we wanted very much to create a place where people could do that. This used to be a terrible, old, awful gravel lot. The Tranquility Garden began when Representative Edmund Kempel from Seguin and wife Roberta spearheaded fundraising after Brackenridge saved his life. Dad had a, a, a cardiac arrest during the session, during the, the uh, 81st legislative session. So that would have been May of 2009. He actually, actually uh, died in an elevator in the Capitol and was resuscitated after eight minutes. So the first time that we came to know as a family, Brackenridge, was when Dad was here for a couple weeks. The walls get start to shrink when you're in the hospital that much, and just being able to come out here and, and look at the sky, but it was a parking lot. But was so so great to us and so supportive of us as a family, you know, always here, you know, knowing that Edmund was in the best possible care that he, he, he could have been in, but taking care of us at the same time. So he really set out to do, to give something back to Brackenridge and started a fundraising campaign that would create this garden and thanks for what he, Brackenridge did for our family to be able to, to pass that along to, to others that will have loved ones here They'll have a place to come up here and reflect and, and pray. When a second cardiac arrest in 2010 entered his big heart after 30 years of service, his fellow legislators honored him with personal contributions to establish a plaza at the Tranquility Garden. Community leaders and donors united to fulfill the mission, joined by volunteers and Seton Healthcare Associates themselves. Everybody feels ownership of it. TBG Landscape Architects transformed the negative space between the buildings into a positive one. As landscape architects, we can provide spaces where people uh, go to feel better and can actually improve health conditions and whether it's you know physical or psychological well-being. Uh, gardens and plants and, and outdoors really provide that. I think the biggest thing that we thought is what, what's a comforting space and what's going to soften it and make you feel 
like you're enveloped and, and you're comfortable. So we thought about texture and color and kind of those plants that you think about when you were in your grandmother's backyard and those things that just kind of gave you that sense of home, that sense of comfort. So things that had blooming, you know, the, the roses, the hibiscus, things like that, that we kind of balanced again with some of the low water use Austin plants. Their design includes wide open spaces for meandering, children's frolics, and events. The Broadview Garden ambles into tucked in spots of harbor. People like to feel a bit, a, a bit of, of security, but they also like to see what's going on. So we did look at, with the access points of the garden, areas where you could sit back and have that space around you, but yet I can see what's going on inside of there. I can see through the garden over there. A cove provides a more intimate spot for families to gather. This place offers them an opportunity to get away from those stressors and to either meditate or reflect um, in silence uh, by themselves or with other members of their family in a calm environment. Fountains of water soothe patients, families and staff with visual rhythm and sound. The caregivers need to be able to have a place where they can become tranquil and mindful and to listen to the sound of the water, to have the plants around them so that they can regain perspective on themselves. So it's very important inside of you know, healing environments that we think about how do we touch those senses, sight and smell and the sounds that we hear. Those are all very important to our kind of sense of well-being. We know that the noise and the bright light, the fluorescent lights, all of those kind of things can impact patients' physiological state or individuals' physiological state. What this does is surround them with um, nature and different noises and the lack of technology, which is really important, I think, to uh, changing your physical responses. And it gives you a sense of peace. An outdoor space um, is one that really has no tradition, no one way of understanding God connected to it. Um, that all of us, no matter what our understanding of the divine, can come to nature, can come to a garden, and feel connected to creation. Its value to patients was evident in its first 48 hours when Kate Henderson offered assistance to a patient in a wheelchair. He declined and told her the story of empowerment. I was able to get myself all the way to your new Tranquility Garden and I want to say thank you for it because I've been in this hospital for almost four weeks feeling really um, immobile and um, dependent on others and tonight I got myself down to the Tranquility Garden and I was able to, I hope you don't mind ma'am, but I pulled a few weeds because it's such a beautiful space I wanted to keep it looking nice. And who would have known that the maintenance of the garden would translate to the patients? and that, that, that instilled him a, something to get out of bed, that I'm gonna heal, but doing that, he's also healing as well. That's phenomenal, it's just touched my heart. 